okay so now we have learned how to manipulate a few objects um, let us practice to draw objects that's a little more complicated so I'm going to move this outside my artboard and let us start off with well let us change my fill I want to change my fill to nothing meaning I want no fill I want no color for my fill so I'm gonna choose that icon there for my fill by clicking it and for my stroke I want that to be red so I'm going to double click that and choose red now let us start off easy we're gonna draw a letter so we're gonna draw the letter T and we're gonna choose the pen tool because that's the tool that we use to draw and we're gonna just draw it randomly so I'm going to use my guides use my estimates and I'm gonna draw the letter T nothing special pretty straightforward uh, that's a bit lean and I'm gonna close it there now when you draw in Illustrator it is advised that you take the revise it approach so what is the revise it approach it means you draw and then you revise funny enough um, you might be introduced later on to a program called Revit uh, you might hear the term already the name of the software is Autodesk Revit and Revit actually stands for revise it so it's the same kind of approach where you draw first and then you revise what you draw so notice I've drawn the letter T and it's a little crooked but I'm not going to try and perfect the T while drawing instead I'm going to use the revise it method and draw it first then I will choose my direct selection tool that allows me to select the individual points and then I will try to align it now if you want to be really accurate you could use things like grid lines to align you things like guides but we'll come to that a little later for now we just want to eyeball it let me zoom in a bit and by zooming in I'm able to align this better so remember to zoom it is control and I mean alt and mouse wheel there we go So that was pretty easy. Let's try something that's a little more complicated and that will be using curves. So now we're gonna draw, let's try the letter C. Now, to draw curves in Illustrator, I'm going to immediately recommend the revise it method. So we wanna draw the letter C. What I want you to do is try and draw the letter C very mechanically with the least amount of points so this will be my letter C now just like the T it's a little crooked as a matter of fact it's a lot crooked but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna change this into a curve and we're gonna do that by doing this using the direct selection tool so that is this tool here and we want to change these points because remember the direct selection tool allows you to change points and we want to convert these points to curve points now remember how illustrator works illustrator will display options based 
and the object that you select so I have selected this point as an object these are the options available to me and the name of the object that I have selected is displayed in the top left hand corner so I have selected an anchor point and these are the options available to me okay so I have selected this anchor point and what I want to do is to change it to a curve well actually not this one but this one I want to change it to a curve I also want to change that one to a curve as a matter of fact I want to click the next one and hold shift and select all of these points here and I want to change all of those to a curve so notice now we start to get the curve and of course we have to do the hard part of course which is to adjust these curves so I'm going to click these points and these points that I've selected here I'm going to use the handles to try and get these curves as neat as I can so what I want to do is adjust each of these now I admit I may be making it look easier than it actually is but it takes a little practice let's put it that way there we go and what you gotta do is adjust these curves until it looks like a C now don't waste too much time on this because it will take some amount of practice and it will it usually feels a little annoying because this it feels very technical it doesn't feel like you're painting but the end result is that you're creating a artwork so that is how you create curves now in addition to drawing objects in Illustrator and I'm gonna move this off the artboard because this has no fill I can't click the center to drag it because there is no fill so I actually have to click the line and drag it from the line now additionally in Illustrator and I'll use this example here you can group objects I select them both I can go to object and go to group and it's now a group to manipulate the group I can double click when I double click notice everything turns gray and I'm now able to move the objects inside the group I double click outside to come back outside the group now when I click on this notice that Illustrator is telling me that I have selected a group so this dialog box becomes very important to knowing what I have selected because as mentioned earlier Illustrator is object based now I can also ungroup by clicking object and choosing ungroup and I'm able to move the objects independently now for today's exercise I want you to go to the website and scroll down to today's date so we're going to exercise 4 and and if you go to the exercise files there is a sketch there actually it is exercise 3 and if you go to the exercise files for exercise 3 there will be a sketch in the folder I want to, to uh, download that file and this is what we'll be creating